Right, welcome back to Spitting the Drip Reviews and today we're doing an Aegis review on a company called 12 Monkeys Vapor Co. And basically, I know the guys here at Spitting the Drip Reviews, we all love this company and we really adore their flavours. Now these are three new ones in the range and we met them at Expo and we did some tricks along with them, we've done some filming with them guys, real lovely people. Now the flavours that we're going to be doing from the three new ranges are Matata, Macaraz and Bonagut. Now basically, Matata is uh, raised candy and knows a thing or two about delicious fruity vapes Big bold grape on the inhale, followed by a smooth ripe apple exhale. This bright and succulent blend will awaken your taste buds all day, every day. And then Macaraz, oh, that's an 80 VG by the way. Now, Macaraz is a 70 VG. Now, that is the, the Macaraz love their fruit, but also their pastries. Macaraz unites these two with a delicious, intricate confection of French macaroon with nutty almonds and raspberry filling, perfect for an exquisite treat on the go. And then we're going to be doing Bonagurt, which is south of the Congo River. The Bonobos have been carefully perfecting a delectable recipe that is sure to please yogurt lovers. A perfectly balanced, luscious melody of multiple berries rounded off with creamy and tart yogurt. And like we said to you before, these have all been lab tested. They're, all, they're made in Canada as well, so we really like tasting these companies. I mean, a couple of my favourite juices that I really love are in their old original ranges. So I'm really looking forward to doing these new ones as well. And they're available in nicotine levels of 0, 3, 6 and a 12 as well. Um, there's propylene glycol, vegetable glycerin, nicotines, natural and artificial flavourings in these. Um, you can add them up on www.12monkeysvapor.com, also on Instagram at 12monkeysvapor and on Facebook, Facebook forward slash 12monkeysvapor. So we'd like to big up Richard Liu, he's the creative director of the whole company. We'd like to big up the other boys that were down at Expo as well, real lovely people. And like I said to you before, we've got some filming done with them. So if you haven't already checked our Expo video out, get over to our page and have a look at that. That's really doing well as well. But now what we're going to do is we're going to have a vape up on these. We're going to talk about consistencies. We're going to show you in around the boxes, the labels. We're also going to talk about what we get out of them, like the different levels in between. We're not just looking for the flavours that are on the bottle. We're looking what what's in between. Um, and also we want to know what they cloud like. So yeah, just before I go, that Bonagut is an 80 VG as well. So Matata 80 VG, Macaraz 70 VG, and Bonagut 80 VG. So catch us back in a minute. Right, welcome back to Spitting Your Dripper Reviews. And like we said to you before when we did the desktop just now, this is 12 Monkeys Vapor. This is a new range. There's three in the range. And we're really, 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 I mean, I am. I'm really excited about doing these. Yeah. I know these guys love them as well, but I'm a real adamant 12 Monkeys fan. Um, we met these guys down at Expo. It was a real nice time. We got them to do some tricks for us on camera and stuff like that. We filmed them up. And we've done our own little Expo video that they're actually featured in as well. So don't forget to check that out. Um, but yeah, big up to Richard Liu, the creative director of this company. Um, and obviously this this whole range is called Triumph. Um, and the flavours involved in it are Matata, Macaraz and Bonagut. And basically we're going to be starting with Matata. So um, yeah, if you want to start with this one, Phil, and then uh, I'll read out the profile on this one. Now Matata is raised by Kanzi and knows a thing or two about deliciously fruity vapes. It's big, it's bold grape on the inhale, followed by a smooth ripe wow. apple exhale. This bright and succulent blend will awaken your taste buds all day, every day. Now I'm a big fan of Kanzi, that's my favourite juice from 12 Monkeys. I don't like just saying that normally, but I'm going to explain it to you why. It's because to me it's got the most fruity amount of zest I've and punch and sugar that I've, <laughs> that I've seen in a long while. So being nurtured from the Kanzi fans, as you can see, Bigger Cops are already enjoying it. Wow. Being nurtured from the Kanzi people, um, I mean, I'm really, really excited about tasting this one. So, yeah, do you, you want to explain be. what you've oh, got in? Oh, my God, Kanzi. Yeah, I love Kanzi as well. You know, really I, nice. I'm a 12 Monkeys fan in general, and Kanzi is probably my favourite. Yeah, that, I've that and Tropico. Really, See, because to yeah. us, what it was with 12 Monkeys, we'd done all the juices that were coming out, we'd done Must Fate, we'd done all the rest of them. But then when 12 Monkeys hit the shelves, they took it to another level, I did, and that's I? when you it moved that. up to. It that's did. when layers started to form. In exactly, juices. and what? this is why we respect these. Watch his face on the <laughs> XL. Watch, right? This is the Kanzi man. Oh. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, that lovely, and it does say what it says. You get a beautiful grape on the inhale, and an amazing apple on the end. And yeah. I'm still getting that lingering apple and grape afterwards, like uh, right at the finish. I'm still and underneath all this wow. talking, that we've got the strawberry man here, but this is the grape man. Yeah, yeah, he loves he is a grape. All day so long. I do, and that to me is That's one amazing, of the finest grapes and apple I've ever tasted. 
Wow. Again, 12 Monkeys, you've not let me down. That's a stage it's got, there. It's yeah. got the base of the of the Kanzi in there as well. I can taste that sort of, you know, the, the, the actual base flavour that they use for it. And then he's added this um, a lovely sort of uh, grape and then followed by an apple. That is, um, they're not lacking, like Bigger Cop's saying, they've got these punchy jump outs that yeah, it goes, it goes, have some grape, and then it goes creamy, and then it goes, now have some apple. And that is what I liked yeah. about it. It was more like a... Like jumping out of me, and, and that's what Kansi does to me. It's, it's got an amazing flavour. I, I knew, I knew these see. twelve monkeys wouldn't let us down, bro. Mm. Do you know what I mean? They're mm. an amazing company. Here you go, my second wow. Yeah, <laughs> it is really wow though. I mean, I'm going to be getting plenty of this. I mean, bad cop, you'd be out of a job if we were just reviewing. This 12 is an monkeys, ABG as well. So as you can see, look at the cloud productions we're producing. It's absolutely amazing. The smell that I'm smelling is literally grape and apple straight away. It does what it says on the tin and it's got the perfect amount of sugar lip, just like Kansi has. Kansi's like can be a bit too sickly and sweet for some people, but I like that. I like that um, the way that it pushes the fruit right through the roof. And like Bad Cop was saying, they raised the bar and changed mm. levels of vaping to a whole new, you've got to check out what's in between, not just there's one flavour and that's how it's going to be. This ain't like that. Not so yeah, all. what do you think? But yeah, they ain't let us down one bit. No. It's, it's, it's just lovely. It's, it's a lovely beautiful. Jeff. It's an essence. I'm still getting the grape now. Getting the grape and the apple. Lovely. So that was Matata. That's an 80 VG, um, 20 PG. And like we said to you before, that's a grape and apple. Now we're going to be moving on to Macaraz, which is 70 VG, which is slightly lower, but still nice for the tanks. Um, and, and, and also the drippers. And this one here is called the Maccas love their fruits, but also their pastries. Now Macaraz unites these two with a delicious, intricate confection of French macaroon with nutty almonds and raspberry filling. So basically what you've got here is French macaroons, almonds and raspberries. That's what we're looking at for on this one. Sounds really nice. It smells strange. I noticed the, yeah, you the smell get of the raspberry smell. You get that smell. raspberry and, and macaroony type smell. Like It's really, it's crazy. Yeah, the raspberries, the like the the, the main, yeah, yeah. The, the, definitely. It's a nice sweet raspberry. Nice. Lovely sugar lip again. Oh, good. Which yeah, you the, do main, get from the main flavour there is raspberry. You're getting the macaroon a, a tiny bit, but it, it's quite. It's, no, not really. But it's complementing the raspberry. Like That's they, good. The macaroon and the raspberry are doing the really nice, but they sort of cut out the almond a little bit. Don't forget the available nicotine levels in these are 0, 3, 6 and a 12 as well. Oh, it's got nice sugar lip in it. Mm. Oh yeah. That French macaroon though is so nice. Yeah, and it, the raspberry's nice as well. It's, it's, obviously there's a lot of raspberries out there, but that is a really nice raspberry. Well, like Bad Cop was saying, I'll start with this, um, I get this French macaroon coming straight away, then it turns straight into this raspberry filling of sweet, absolute, beautiful essence, like a, like a raspberry jam. Yeah. Um, that then turns into like a cordial with the with the essence of the almond, I think, at the end. I'm not quite getting a strong almond, but no. you can, like, even in the vape, you can smell a bit of that. Yeah, there know, is a nutty little to tiny, it, like. tiny, tiny hint of nuttiness to it, oh, but it's wow. not off putting, it's really clean. And, and you don't really notice it, to be fair. I mean, even in a tank, you'd probably notice it even less because yeah. it gets slightly muted. But in a dripper, I mean, I'm loving the smells that I'm smelling. If you could smell what we're smelling around us now, oh, it's mate. literally, mm. you know, literally French macaroons, almonds, raspberries, all that sort of it's stuff. It's a really crisp by. raspberry as well. It's it nice. is crisp, it's fresh. It's an all-day vape, that one. It's more of a like a refresh, refreshing cleansing of the palate, you know? I, I like that. I think definitely it's, definitely yeah, if someone walked past you, if you was out someone walked past you and you smelt that, mm. you'd be looking round to see what that was. Yeah. You, you, it's definitely a, like a, a catchy smell. It's very nice. It's very, As you said, Buttercup, that raspberry's the domineering flavour, but don't let that fool you that it's the domineering one because you can definitely taste the macaroon in there. And I'm getting exactly. a slight almond, but I think that's just been complemented with the At other flavours yeah, as well. With that sugary sort of macaroon again. But um, basically, these are all lab tested and made in Canada as well. And the whole the, the whole range is called Triumph, um, and they've got their individual names. Like we've already done Matata, and we've now moved on to Macaraz. And the final one that we're going to be moving on to, which is an 80 VG again, and these are available in zero, three, six, and twelve nicotines. By the way, now this one's an 80 VG, and it's called Bonagurt. That's B O N O G U R T Bonagurt. And this one's south of the Congo River, the Bonobos have been carefully perfecting a delectable recipe that is sure to please yoghurt lovers. A perfectly balanced, luscious melody of multiple berries rounded off with creamy and tart yoghurt. So this one's a berry yoghurt. So we're looking into this one again. Um, wow. smelling, the, smelling the actual juice on this one. I noticed they've used a yoghurt concentrate that we use in one of ours as well. Like, um, we, call one, we do one called Spitberry. 
and uh, that's like a berry yogurt, and it very does. It's, it you smells to me that. like it's like that sort of yogurty. That's really nice. You're getting that yogurty mixed fruits, exactly what it says on the tin, and it, it, the flavours complement each other so nice. The berries that they've used, wow, punchy. You'll see another one. I mean, the whole range has been really nice to do. It's a shame there's only three. Mm. Well, that is nice. Yeah, you try that. I've got a nice little question <coughs> at the end of this. Straight away, I'm getting that um, that chemically yogurt that you get with that chemically smell from the yogurt. Um, it's it's really nice. It's uh, it's pleasant as well as it's like um, intriguing. It makes you think like, oh, what's going on here? Mm. And then you get this berry burst and. Wow, is it berry? It's literally, it's not a harvest berry, it's not a tropical berry. It's more like, um, like I would say, like garden hand picked berries, like uh, blackberries, um, them sort of things, you know, like your raspberries, them sort of things, all been mixed together and it gives it this zappy punch. And it's, I like it, I think yeah. it's really nice. Mm -hmm. I think it's really tasty and I'm, I'm really impressed with all three yeah, of them got so that far. Nice creamy yogurt. I think it's nice. And then the berries, it's like, they yeah. punch in the yeah, yeah, you know, they're really zappy, they are nice. I like them. I think they're a good, like a, a, a good taste. As an overall question to the three of us, do we think it is, this new range is a triumph? Definitely. Um, I think personally, like out of the three of them, like if I was to choose one that I really do admire, <laughs> it would have to be the, the same as the Kansi family that come from the Matata. I mean, that really did do what Kansi does to me. It makes me go like, oh, oh, oh you know, like yeah. that inside that makes you really want to go out and instantly run down the shop and buy some. But the other two I find was like um, more on the, uh, not so much of the zappy as the first one, but they are different and that is what we look for. We look for that essence, that differentness at the end, like um, a couple of the other flavours that we did from a, from a previous company had these florally petly endings and we was liking some of them, they were really nice, like some floral endings are weird but this company wasn't doing that. And with this one we're finding again you're getting like not just the French macarons and the almonds and the raspberries, not just the berries and the yogurt, you're getting other little stuff in between, like yeah. you're getting the sugars, the essences, and my the creams. is actually the raspberries. Oh brilliant. Yeah. Mm, brilliant. The macarets. What's your favourite? Uh, same as Badcock. Yeah, I would say. Like I don't get me wrong, it's a tough one. Oh, yeah. there's, there's not one I don't like. Yeah. I really did like this one. The it, Matata, is, it is a lingering one. Because I do like well. Kanzi, but I can see that being a coil killer, though, because once you get that in, that is so strong That's yeah. it. that you literally are going to taste it for a long while. Like, you know, but, but it's yeah, really nice. Really really raspberry and the macarets. It's really punchy raspberry. It's really sweet. It's lovely. That's good. So yeah, what we're going to do is wrap it up now. Like you said, you've just got our little rundowns. Um, I was a fan of the Matata. These two loved the Macaraz. The Bonnegut was really nice as well. It's got that creamy, lovely, punchy yogurt. And it was different to the one, I mean, we do an harvest berry yogurt, but this one was a different type of berry in it. I like that. I like looking for different stuff. Again, it was punchy and zappy. But it's just mm. our personal views overall. They're, exactly. they're all three they're, of bagging. They oh, are. Agree. And I think they are like a triumph. I think they are... You know, they've triumphed again. They've come yeah, through yeah. and they've brought through three amazing flavours. They haven't come through with like three, you know, just to add to the range for the fun of it. They've actually worked yeah. hard on getting these textures right and I when think we, they're really nice. When we, when we see them at uh, Expo and they give us these three and yeah. said, you know, take these back to your office and review these, I was so happy. They are, they are really so nice. Happy. Richard Liu and the full gang down there, yeah. they were really humble, really nice. Blew us some lovely, they were showing us how to do tricks. That I've, he, he taught me how to do three three blows coming out of the mouth from, yeah, from not from normally the dragon when you do it three you know, blows in your mouth exactly he's doing three, three out, out of the mouth. mouth and it was really nice if you want to watch that go and check out our um, our expo video as well on our, on our site on YouTube but um, like I said to you before subscribe to us please do tell all your friends about us add us up on Instagram Twitter YouTube as well as Facebook this has been Spitting Your Drip Reviews it's been 12 Monkeys Vapor Company um, we've really loved doing these again they're a, they're a good good like company in my heart I hold them dear and they haven't let me down they've been really amazing this has been spitting into reviews I know the boys are happy catch us back next time <laughs>